guys. Happy Sunday. So today, um, we haven't done much. My parents came over and brought me um, pozole, which is the yummiest soup ever, and I've been craving it, so I was just so excited to um, eat it. Uh, and they made like a huge trip just to bring me that, so that was really sweet of them. But I wanted to show you guys, yesterday we went to Dillard's, and we went to TJ Maxx, and I wanted to show you guys what we got, little Jace, just because since he's not making an appearance, we're just getting so excited for him. But um, yeah, so let's go over to the nursery. I just finished recording um, January favorites and, um, oh, what's the other one? A Bath and Body Works haul, candles. So it's winter and, and winter and what? Oh, and fall kind of scents. But anyway, so this is the stuff that we got him at Dillard's. And this is, they were having like a 70% off sale, so it was huge. And this is for a year old. So we're just going to hold on to this till he's a year old. It's from Harley, and it's really cool. My husband got that one for him, so he'll be matching him. This one's from Harley as well, and it's also 12 months. And then this one that comes with its little pants. And then we went to, um, what was it, Spencer's? And as soon as my husband saw this, he was like, oh my gosh, he's so getting that. So <laughs> it's just like a bib, and then it comes with like a little cape that you can attach and detach. <laughs> it's so cute. And then at TJ Maxx, oh, and then this one was from Dillard's as well. And I absolutely adore this blue with this little, this one's three to six months, yeah. So at TJ Maxx, we just got him a Valentine's Day um, bodysuit because he'll be here for Valentine's. And I don't know if it'll fit him because these are size three, three months, but I think so because I definitely don't think that he's going to fit in newborn clothes very long, um, for very long. And then we also got him some washcloths and this is all clothes that I've washed recently. So yeah, I don't know if I'm actually like shrinking the clothes because, I mean, I do you use low heat and delicates, but some of these things look so tiny. Like this is three months, and to me it looks newbornish. <laughs> so I don't know. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm going to go upload those videos. Hey you guys, I'm just running errands and I am going to Walmart now. I found this really great recipe on um, YouTube for like using a crock pot and it's to make fiesta chicken and I really want to try it because I want to start cooking because I really don't know how to but I want like super easy recipes and I decided to start with a crock pot just because that just seems easier. And so I'm outside of Walmart now. Let's see. I um... I usually park really far away so I have like space to walk. I've always done that just because like, I don't know, just because I feel like walking is good <laughs> for you. Let me see. Sorry, I'm like, the camera has this thing. Oh. Sorry guys. I was trying to exit out and it started doing 3, 2, 1. Um, but that's all. I woke up with the biggest back pain ever, 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 ever. Like, I don't understand. I thought maybe I was, like, sleeping wrong or something. Um, but I feel like what you think of a pregnant girl, like, you usually think of her complaining and being like, oh, and walking all crazy, like, waddling and, like, holding her back, being like, my back hurts. That is how I feel right now. Like, the, your typical, like, I'm so pregnant girl. Um, because my back started hurting and it hadn't like hurt at all like you know just at random times throughout my pregnancy but not like that's not something that I've had to deal with so now that's hurting then I'm gonna also go walk a lap around the lake just because even if my back's hurting it's just good for you I feel so much better after I walk and stuff and that's about it last night I woke up from like 2 in the morning and I couldn't go back to bed till like 5 ish I was like on tumblr and twitter and stuff um so I definitely want to take a nap I'm so tired 
but I need to finish running my errands and then I'll do that. I'll talk to you guys later. You guys, so this is who I was watching, Love Kisses 99. Hi YouTube, it's your girl, Love Kisses 99. And um, anyway, she's the one that had the recipe, Five. it's actually like four ingredients, but I just put everything in there. You kind of layered it, and I put the salsa on top, and it's fiesta chicken. So I hope it turns out okay. <laughs> I usually like burn toast. I just do not even know how to cook. Like, I will be the person that burns the toast. Um, <laughs> I'm that bad. So hopefully this turns out okay. But anyway, she has more recipes. It's like really cool. I was like, how, like, where can I get stuff? And it's really hot. I touched it earlier, and like, I burnt my finger because it's supposed to be on high which it is so anyway yeah I was like I'm really bad at like a cookbook like I just don't get them like the crock pot has a cookbook or I think this is where there's some recipes and stuff or maybe this is just never mind this is not recipes maybe I don't know anyway I'm like bad at directions like this I like to watch someone do it as I'm doing it and the cool thing oh it is recipes the cool thing about um, steak soup, YouTube is you can like slow it down, pause it, and like go at your own pace. But I'll tell you guys in three hours how it turns out. Hey, Foxy. Hi. So since I got home, I, had, I didn't know where my cats were. They were hiding from me, weren't you guys? I'm so tired, you guys. Like, not getting any sleep last night. Really? It's not good for me because I'm like dead. But anyway, I'm gonna go take a shower, rest a little bit. Bye. Good morning. So today's my original due date and no signs of labor. I'm like, rah. So I'm gonna go do a um, 40 week pregnancy video. And I was watching this like really cool, like, you know, like the Bermuda Triangle um, in Florida. This is like in Alaska. It's so cool. I'm like, I've been so distracted, but I'm gonna go um, film that and then also question and answers. So we'll see how that goes. Having problems with my hair. But let me show you what I'm wearing today. I'm just wearing a dress because it's warm out today. And I know it looks so huge. But um, there's my big, big Jamungo belly. And I curled my hair. So that's what that looks like. Look at the view from here. And I'm just wearing a sports bra underneath because it's comfortable. But yeah. So anyway, um, let's go film that. Yay! I want to show you a close-up of my makeup, sort of. It's hard because I'm like trying to see if I'm like getting close, but um, I don't know. Since the screen is on the side, it's kind of hard. All right, well, let's go do that. Today I'm going to go walk and then I'm going to go to the beach because it's so nice out and yeah, I feel very pregnant today. Very, very pregnant. So yeah, this is such a good TV thing. It's like in the History Channel. So I got to turn that off though. And I guess I'll film again at the baby's room, their nursery. Um, where I left, oh yeah, I was like thinking that maybe I left um, the tripod in here in the, in the, what is this called? Elevator? And I did. So yeah. Oh my gosh, that wave is really bugging me. Like that <laughs> right there with my hair. It's just because it's pinned, but it just looks better. Like, I wish you guys could see like all of my hair <laughs> and not just a little bit. Okay, well, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Let me be right here. Because this thing is like coming. I'm done. See, that's what I'm talking about. It's like, grrr. okay. 
I forgot to tell you guys yesterday the food that I made from um, that YouTube video that I watched was so good my husband absolutely loved it he was like wow this is really good which made me so excited because like I was telling you guys I'm not really good at <laughs> cooking anything so I I don't know I was just happy um, I'm waiting for my video to load so I'm just watching um, I don't even know what this is but it's like labor and delivery and it's scaring me I don't know it's like TLC because that girl got induced and she's so nervous it's like making me nervous like if I have to get induced oh my gosh <laughs> like just she's scared so it's like making me scared for some reason maybe I shouldn't be watching this so let's turn it but I kind of want to load the video before I leave the house so that I like uploads and I don't know Maybe I'm just weird. <laughs> but I've noticed that everyone's wearing um, jackets. And just because I thought it was so nice. Well, I look like sunburned or something. Just because I thought it was so nice. Um, and with the, with the sun so bright, I had like a scarf here. So I wonder if I should wrap it like a grandma. I think I'll do that. Even though it like doesn't match with my dress at all. But I don't want to be chilly when I'm walking, you know. Let me set this right here. It's so um, bright, the sun is. So, yeah. I think I'll just, like, wrap this, like, like this <laughs> and see if I'm not cold or something. And I'm going to get my two laps in, then off to the beach. Maybe I should go to the store, too. Just grab some more fruit. I'm cra Like, I really want an apple. I can say I'm craving an apple, but not like in a pregnancy way. I just like want an apple. Well, maybe that is in a pregnancy way. I don't know. But yeah, look at the duckies so happy. Or I don't know if you can see them from here. But I've showed you guys this before. It's pretty big lake to go walk all the way around. Okay. It's getting so hard to walk around this whole thing. Like, I haven't even finished one lap, and I'm already, like, so tired and ready for some, um, what's it called? For some air. <laughs> Just to take a breather. I feel like I want to sit and, like, rest, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna... Oh, sorry. There's, like, a hair trying to go in my mouth. Oh, yeah, I was telling you guys. I'm not going to. I'm just gonna... Wait to finish at least the first lap and then, you know, maybe walk a little slower but not stop so I can get it out of the way. Everyone has puppies walking around the lake. Um, it's so cute. Look at it from this side. How pretty, right? Such a lovely day and I'm not even chilly with just like the scarf around me. It ended up working out so that's good. I have to watch my step because there's like duck poop or something. I don't know if it's like from the ducks, but it's there's definitely some right there. So instead of going straight to the beach, I came to the grocery store, but I just braided my hair and I like it. See, I just did like a little tiny braid right there and because I don't know what to do sometimes with like, whoa, sorry. But like my hair it gets on my face and that just kind of like keeps it away but it's not just like pinned because sometimes like when I pin it it creates like a weird little wave but no that's good I like it I like it and on this side it's fine and like my hair color is darker so it's kind of like um mixed in the braid anyway um, I think I'm just gonna get a couple of like fruit snacks and stuff like that and then maybe go to the beach because I am so exhausted from that little walk that really made me tired I was um, talking to my sister um, during like the last few I don't know like minutes of my walk and it just made it go faster which was good but outside of food lion let me show you Hey guys, um, so I have been like, 
so tired and sleepy lately, depleted, completely depleted of all of my energy. But anyway, yesterday I went to the doctor um, and I was one centimeter dilated, which is exciting. Um, today I'm going back to, right now, I'm just in my car now, but because it's raining, um, I kind of really am sad about it because I was about to go walking and then I come outside and it's completely raining because I just woke up from a nap, <laughs> which is why I'm just wearing my hair like this and just mascara and that's it. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm getting an ultrasound in a little bit um, to see how big the baby is and stuff like that. Um, so, I don't know if I should go to like a store and just walk around in the store and count that as my walking. But, um, yeah. Alright. Yesterday we went out to dinner, um, hubby and I at this restaurant that was really really like cute and like should have filmed <laughs> I guess I was just like really tired and we were like going in and I, I don't know but um yeah you got me along <laughs> don't you just want to sing it whenever you hear the song you just want to sing it my doctor's appointment I was there since like 3 30 and it's now 5 but anyway um, they did an ultrasound and um, the doctor checked it he was just talking to me about it um, everything looked good he wanted to know if the baby was moving a lot um, and I said yeah but he still wanted to do like uh, he, he thinks the baby might weigh around nine to nine and a half pounds he wanted to do a non-stress test and everything looked good but he still wants to go ahead and send me excuse me or to the hospital so we'll see if they take me um, my induction date is on Tuesday but he said to go ahead and come in today um, which is right next to my OB office so I'm just gonna walk in there and I called my husband but it's not for sure that they'll take me because he said that they're so 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 busy that they might just send me home and same thing on Tuesday actually so he said maybe just go in and <laughs> over the weekend um, so yeah, so I might get admitted and induced today after I walk in there or I might just get sent home. We'll see what happens. All right, well, I'll keep you guys posted. I'm happy to get here and I am just here hooked up to, well, I just went to the bathroom so they unhooked me, but I'm calm yet nervous though. Let me show you where I am. I'm waiting to be going into a different room, so I'm just watching TV. Let me put this in my arm. And I'm wearing this robe. These cable things are for to monitor the baby, but they unhooked it because I had to go to the bathroom. And that's pretty much it. I didn't think I was going to go today, but I'm excited. And nervous but yet calm so yeah mm. see there's that machine over there I was keeping track of the babies babies um just like monitoring and stuff so yeah they told me I couldn't videotape the labor part but I can videotape like right now so, that's good. Just nervous. <laughs> okay. There's your daddy, Chase. Justin, show me your shirt. Aww. I feel like your hair's really long. And my phone's charging over there. We're still waiting on a room. So they can move us from this room to another room. My arm thing really hurts, like the needle. There's the bed. There's Justin. <laughs> 
and a little couch over here where I'm sitting. And we're just sitting and waiting. My sisters are on their way. Both of them. We just put our stuff right there. But it's a pretty big room. And there's a TV. And here's me. And baby Jace. <sighs> Changing the channel. Kind of don't want to like lay on the bed just yet. Because I'll probably be there for a while. Justin just went to the truck to get pillows. Um, I, I saw the doctor, he came in and he put something in my cervix to soften it. it looks, it's kind of like a tampon, sort of, like he just like pushed it up there. He said usually it takes about 12 hours to soften it and then in 12 hours then we'll start. Um, like if I haven't gone into labor yet Pitocin or something like that so he said that most likely it's not very common that you go into labor with this I forget what this is called but it's kind of like a tampon sort of you just insert it up there and then it's supposed to soften the cervix um, so maybe I might go into labor I might not they told me to get some sleep for tomorrow which I'm so sleepy right now like my eyes are so heavy but they said that they could give me sleeping pills too if I needed them. So I'm just gonna wait and see because my sisters aren't here yet and I might just go to sleep on my own so even though I'm nervous and excited and anxious and sleepy all rolled up into one. I'm so excited that my sisters are coming though. Like I'm so happy that they're gonna be by my side. Here's the, I think I showed you guys this, but there's the monitor for the baby, and that's going to be Jace's bed, <laughs> TV, and he's been moving a lot, he's moving now. bathroom and look at that shirt over there my husband thought he was so funny he is all the nurses were laughing <laughs> I was laughing really hard when I saw it I was like what in the world he's actually wearing it he changed he's being silly he's silly like that <laughs> I love him this needle thing kind of still hurts but it's like I'm getting used to it. I don't know, for some reason, these normally don't hurt me. But this needle did. It's like the way she inserted it or something. I don't know. So. Yep. Whoa, sorry. Almost dropped it. And so I'm just like laying here. <laughs> I don't even know. I'm not even watching TV. <sighs> I think I'm just going to try to go to bed now. <sighs> Maybe. Maybe not. I'll keep you guys posted. It's 5.30. Woke up. Can't go back to sleep. I feel cramps. I'll be sleeping over there. On the couch. My sisters came and he took them home so they could get some rest and they'll come back in the morning. I don't even know what I'm watching. Oh. 
just looking at this. I woke up a little bit ago. I'm kind of hungry. The yogurt sounds good. Big shop. Mm. I'm still asleep a little bit. I have still been having pretty bad cramps every now and then. They go away. <laughs> I, look, I look crazy. But yeah. I slept pretty good for the most part. Very good. <laughs> that was uncomfortable over there. They told me I can drink this. You should have slept at home. No, what about me? All alone. Did you see Hogan at home? He was locked in the closet. He was? <laughs> what did he do when you unlocked him? So they told me that I might be able to eat something today, but they were going to give me instructions on exactly what. I'm really hungry. My sisters are here in the morning. Who's ready? <laughs> Who's ready for Jace to come out? <laughs> I am about to take a shower, so I pull that stuff out. My daddy wants to know how you are. Tell him I'm good. <laughs> I am still only one centimeter dilated and 50% of face, so we're just waiting on the nurse to tell us the next move, if it's Pitocin or what the doctor's going to choose to do. So yeah. What's up? <laughs> just took a shower. And I'm wearing a new robe, even if you can't tell. <laughs> oh, my dad. Okay, Jace. Bra, bra, bra. <laughs> Is he cheering for him to come out? Mm. Yeah, and mine was go, go. go. <laughs> Put some music so I can dance. <laughs> and get him this out. This is a theme song, guys. This is how pregnant people dance. This is how pregnant people dance. Homie, no matter where you are, no matter how far, don't worry, baby. Just call my name. I'll be there in a hurry. You don't have to worry. <laughs> Ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low enough. Ain't no Getting to you, babe. <laughs> I set you free. Hey, Pitocin. Um, I gotta hook this up here. Because I went to the bathroom. I think that goes there. And this goes here. Yep. Yeah, so she just went to go get it now, and we're gonna go ahead and get started because I'm two and a half centimeters dilated. Yay! The dance helped. What? So we started on the Pitocin. The white lines are my contractions. And then the green is the baby. And each block is about... What is it? Your contractions are the craziest. <laughs> they like spiked up. Each block she said was a minute. So right now they're like about four minutes apart. She wants to get in close to two. 
Interesting. She said the baby was perfectly good at this point. I am. Did you think she was talking to me? Yeah. My prediction for when Wendy's going to be pregnant is going to be... Two years from now. Two years from now? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Two years from now, so I'll be 25? You want to be younger? No, I think I'll be 26 your age. So one year from now. <laughs> no. You're like, that doesn't make sense. That just means that instead of pushing it further, it's, okay, it's going to be closer. <laughs> it's okay, you can imagine me pregnant since you're pregnant. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Also, do you want to show me a dance move? Since I can't get up and dance. <laughs> I'm stuck here. <laughs> Silly. That was my dance move. There's like a no, two orbs around you. What is this? Oh, maybe it's just a light. I was like, what is going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby cheese. Oh my gosh, I uh, look, maybe I should put some makeup on so I don't look so crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll stop being weird. A birthing ball to bounce around on and make some room for the baby. Don't you guys look like you're having fun? <laughs> Justin brought me a push present. It's over there. The big, big box. What is it? You have to put push before you. I have to push first. I'm having a contraction though. <laughs> Every time I push. Oh, we tear a little. Oh my gosh. These contractions are getting worse. <laughs> That gap is from where I went to the restroom just a little bit ago. Mm. Okay, time to bounce around. Hi! <laughs> they just <laughs> broke her water. Okay. Yay! And they still haven't given her an epidural, but she can request it when she feels it's time. And when she requests it, it takes 20 minutes for the lady to actually get here. So, <laughs> but I'm coming off of. Um, she's coming off of some sort of medicine that they put in the IV. Of that, whatever that is, that <sighs> apparently makes her drunk. And the nurse said, "Please don't ask her questions. <laughs> don't take advantage of your sister." <laughs> and now Justin's getting nervous. <laughs> he said he needs vodka. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. everything verbatim. <laughs> And Ilsa, she submitted a paper at 4. Exactly. Exactly at 4. Oh, 4 or 5. Yeah. Um, which I wrote half of her paper. No, I'm kidding. Lies. <laughs> you wrote your section. <laughs> um, and what else, honey? And she's feeling cold right now. Yeah. It's weird. Like, I'm not cold anymore. She's like, not I'm cold less, anymore. Like, shaking like this. Like, I mm -hmm. think it's because I came by and I'm mm -hmm. warm. Must have been it. <laughs> And Ilsa, that's Ilsa's corner. That's my corner. This is Justin's chair. This is the bathroom where Alma showered earlier. This is the toilet. <laughs> um, this will be... Oh, this is a medicine ball Alma was bouncing on a little while ago. This is where baby Jace... Not a medicine ball. I said bouncy ball. Well, Jace will be weighed and everything i don't know i still and feel like i'm so out of it i'm like and ella is still very out of it oh and they broke my water but they found meconium so it has the baby head oh His first bowel movement so they'll take him straight over there and suction him off so he goes busy and do his lungs oh so the the baby actually poopied mm -hmm. um so that's normal the nurse said that he just decided he wanted to go. 
sometimes that happens. And this is the heartbeat, as you can see. And we can actually hear it go boom, boom. I don't know if you can hear it. And these are her contractions. And this is her TV. <laughs> and that's all for now. I think I'm going to try to... And this... Oh no! This is Wendy. Sorry, it's not like we're all pretty, pretty, uh, pretty or anything, but it's okay. We're prettier than this room. And this is Wendy's corner. I already did that. Oh, you said my corner. Oh, I said my corner. Hey, baby! <laughs> it looks so weird with this like monitor right here because it's like boing. <laughs> boing. Uh, all right, guys. We'll see you in a little bit. Bye! Bye! This yeah. is Ella after her epidural. She did really, really, really well. It wow. was really fast. Yeah. The anesthesiologist, or the, actually the nurse said that usually it takes either a couple of times or it takes a lot longer for her to find the right spot. And it went by really fast. I stayed with her because Justin's afraid of needles. <laughs> Um, and, and yeah, yeah, how do you feel? Oh, yeah. Good. You can't feel your legs right now, correct? Yeah, they're like numbing or something. Oh, honey. But I feel good. Good. I actually feel sleepy. You feel sleepy. Mm -hmm. Well, soon, Jay, baby, Jay's <laughs> Jay okay. pants. Okay, bye, guys. Hey, how are you feeling? <laughs> Good. So now um, she pushed for about 45 minutes and um, she pushed very well. She dilated 10 centimeters, but it looks like baby Jace is turned um, to her right. Yes, to her right, and um, he can't come out that way. So they said that maybe it is better to get a C section. So now she's on her way upstairs or downstairs, I don't know. To another room to get a C-section, and here's Daddy with this cool hat, <laughs> and here's Elsa taking pictures, and we're all very excited. Jace, come out, seriously. All right, bye. She's like, okay. won't leave the mom. We can see everything. Let's the baby. All the girls in the family. So this is the third day. Today is Saturday, February 9th. Um, yes. And baby Jace is there with mom. Ma it's third. This is my sister-in-law. Congratulations! Yay! Party! Two grandmas. Two grandmas. Oh, I had a little great grandma sitting over there in the green. Hello. And grandma. Hi, baby. Yeah, and he's just too cute. He's trying to open his eyes. Yeah, he's he just had to be like one. He's just too cute, little baby. He's so relaxed, which is good. I want you to cry. I want you to cry. I want you to cry. How are you feeling, Mama? Good. Good. C-section was pretty good. Mm -hmm. I, I think I haven't talked about it. Um, I don't know. It, it wasn't too bad. I got to see him. I was very sleepy. I was not wanting to miss it. But um, and after that, I woke up better. And then we went to a room, and I got to hold him, skin on skin. And, Yay. What else has happened? I feel like today's been a blur. Yeah. Oh, then we got moved to this room. And then you might stay here for oh, oh yeah a little while. Oh yeah. This is a C-section. Tuesday's at the latest. Yeah. Tuesday the latest? No, sorry, Monday the latest. Probably till Tuesday though.
Oh. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, but the walking really hurts. Yeah. 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 Here are a couple of presents. 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 So good. And oh. cupcakes from my Chad. Yeah. Yay. All right. That's fine. Today, I've been alone for a little while. My sister Elsa is spending the night with me today. Yay. We'll help you get some rest home. I'm going to try to figure out this pumping machine. Yeah. The bottle goes connected to this. Okay. So, she's going to help me figure that out. Um, she's going to sleep over there. And Hubby will be here first thing tomorrow. We're having the um, in-room, um, like the baby stays in my room at all times, except right now where they took him to... Um, Can pump both of your breasts at the same time? Are you pumping them for me? She's like, should I pump both of your breasts at the same time? <laughs> um, interesting. <Wait>. Maybe... <laughs> Maybe we should try one at a time. I don't know. I don't know how to do I this. Like I have to drink a lot of water. So I have two of those. But anyway, I had my catheter taken out today. Um, they say that I'm doing really good considering I had surgery in the morning um, at 4 a.m. He was born at 4 a.m. 4.13. Oh, look, this is my push present from hubby. Um, it's gorgeous. He wanted it to match the, um, diaper bag, and he's just the sweetest. He brought this in, and just was telling me I did really good, and he's proud of me, and then, um, he got this. He said that the baby got it for me, but, so his name is, you can't tell, it looks like a mirror. But his name is actually engraved in that middle part. You can kind of tell there. It says Jace 2013. And it says Mother. And it's really, really cute. See the sparkles? And it has, like, music. Look how pretty. From Jace. Actually, his daddy to me. But I love him. He's the sweetest, hubbiest. I'm so in love with this bag. With my push present. Elsa's dancing. Oh yeah, but they're saying how I'm doing really good considering I had the um, C-section in the morning. Um, but I'm so itchy everywhere. I'm not allowed to take a shower till 24 hours, I think they said, right? Yes. Yeah, so I'm like continuing scratching, but take a shot of my belly. This is what... Still today, postpartum, post baby out, a few hours, of, well not a few, but like the morning, not even a day passed. But I was telling my sister, I don't look nine months pregnant anymore, I look like four or five, <laughs> but it's going down. I'm wearing like a band thing that they give here, which helps like hold my incision together because it's why are you going all the way up there? Because <laughs> it's um different angle perspective. Oh, it's really painful. It was earlier and I just really wanted the catheter out that I have we just went to walk a lap. The nurse came in and said she she wanted me to walk and um, they told me that I had to pee a certain amount. If not the catheter was going back in which I don't want to <laughs> And I'm really sad they took the baby to see if they want to see how he's feeding for themselves, I guess. Um, so yeah, he's been having formula. And right now I've just fed him and he had 20 ml. But he was kind of hurting because he got a shot today. Yeah, and his little like, foot. I like couldn't handle it. I was like wanting to cry myself. He got two shots actually. Yeah. He got his, because he was 9 pounds, 8 ounces, um, they wanted to measure his blood, blood. sugar yeah. levels or something, which were good, so he was good there. And then they gave him the, is it hepatitis B? Yes. So, poor thing. He was, like, bummed. Oh, did I show them the cupcakes? Oh, oh there was, brother? I ate one. You did? Yes. Were they good? They were delicious. My brother-in-law got them from Georgia Town. Why does that turn on? It's automatic. Oh. 
Yay, four cupcakes have been eaten. We can eat the little yellow duck. ducky. It's so delicious. It was sweet. And I got a bunch of presents from everyone. My husband took them home today, just so they weren't here in the room. So the room is a lot smaller than the delivery room. It's still relatively big. But it's like very nice and big, yeah, and very comfortable. And what else? The baby had his first bath in room, because we're rooming together. <laughs> and um, they used this to brush his hair and Aww. everything, so it was really nice to be in here. So that everything can just be in here. And since I am using the pigeon bottles, they gave us like soap, and we have like a, what's it called? I'm like, a brush. <laughs> yeah. So here they are. So we've been feeding him formula until I fig until my milk comes in, and or until I figure this whole pumping is out because he did have a cleft palate. So it's actually very small into the side. I think they said, but it's still in there. So. So let's get this milk pumping. Yeah. Goodbye. Yeah, guys. Little uh, footprints. How cute and how big, right? Look, this is my finger. Yeah. He has big feet and big hands. He's such a cutie. So it's almost 3 a.m. We just finished a feeding that um, my sister helped me with. And now we're just staying up with him so that he doesn't have um, any problems with the milk coming back up before we put him to bed and we go to sleep. Look at my little sweet angel. Hi baby. Hey sweetie. His little cap. He's wearing a little gown that I packed for him and with little socks. Little tiny shoes. <laughs> and there's my sissy. How are you hanging in there honey? Pretty wide awake now. Are yeah. Maybe you chase. <laughs> she tweeted, "There's no better reason to be up at this hour, but for this." <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's a cutie. Me, I'm just wearing this gown, <laughs> and my belly's still kind of poking out. <laughs> it's super cute. Oh, they were like, we went. I went to the NICU for a little bit to, so they could. Show me how to feed him and stuff like that with a pigeon bottle, like just how much he really needs to be having since he's a nine pound baby, um, nine and a half. <laughs> um, and they were like, you just had surgery, how are you? Like so put together and in like a cute little gown. I was like, what? <laughs> I've been drinking a lot of water. Because they told me that if I didn't, I put the catheter back in, and I don't want that. So, yeah. My face still looks kind of swollen. A little bit. But, that's okay. Can't wait to take a shower. But, we're going to put baby Jace to sleep, and then go to bed. Everyone who meets him falls completely in love with him. He's the cutest baby ever. I have the cutest baby in the whole entire world. In the whole entire world. And the sweetest. And the cutest. And the most precious. So it's five in the morning right now. He's me. Mm -hmm. Look how adorable he is. Aww. He has to sit up this way with the pigeon bottle, but he's doing really good. Every feeding he gets better and better. At just knowing what to do and if it's these little formula things perfect like then it's called like the nipple and everything but he's getting so good <laughs> baby he, he opened his eyes a little bit ago you want to open your eyes baby and he's like nope I'm too hungry, too sleepy. <laughs> the little noises he makes. Is like... Open your eyes. 
He's so cute. <laughs> I'm going to film his little feet because they are so cute. Oh. His little feet. <laughs> oh, she told me I could put lotion because the other nurse told, told me I no, to put, not, not to, put. to put lotion. But this one told me that I could put a little bit if I wanted. Okay. Very nice. And maybe just a little so that he created his own. See how his hands are like folded in his chest? Exactly like his daddy. He does that to relax. Oh. He holds both of them. Just like your daddy, huh, Jace? Okay. Help, help me a little bit. Okay. Good night. Or goodbye. Uh, <laughs> see you in a little bit. <laughs> Um, they took the baby to get some more tests done. I forget which one this one was called, but he's done beautifully in all his tests, really well, passed everything, hearing tests and everything else, which um, I was wondering about the hearing test so soon after a C-section, sometimes takes a little bit longer. Hubby got here, he went to go get something to eat. There's my sister over here, eating. <laughs> <laughs> it's lunchtime, so we ordered this. For both of us, we thought it was going to be, like, enough, but the salad is kind of small. So, yeah. Javi's going to bring um, some yogurt. And that's it. Oh, I still love this. I think I showed you guys in the middle of the night, or I don't even remember. Um, this little angel. Oh, there's Jace. That Jace got me, a little baby, from my hubby. There's my bed, a mess. But, yeah, so I didn't really, I still kind of wanted to wear this gown because it's so comfortable instead of like other pajamas over there. Maybe I'll change into something later. But that's it for now. I will talk to everyone later. Bye. Look who just came back in with his arm out. Hi, baby. Hi. And his eyes are open. Hey, hey baby, here's his little cleft lip, so cute. Oh, hi baby, do you want to show everyone the little hat you were wearing earlier? Yeah? He's like completely calm with his eyes open, he, we haven't seen his eyes open this much. Where is his hat? It's over here. I think I put it right here. He, this matches his little outfit, but I think Should I stuck, I stuck some stuff over here. Uh -huh. I wonder here, if it, if he doesn't get bothered by it. Oh, you have to fold it, right? Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He's like, but I don't know. <laughs> Hi, gorgeous. Hi. So much space up here. Hi, baby. Are you a little bunny? No, that's a um, penguin, right? Are you a little penguin? I love you. I love you so much. I love you. Time to carry you and love you. We were discharged from the hospital today. Um, my little man and me are going to sleep in the nursery today um, instead of just in my room like I originally wanted. And um, so this is our first night here. <sighs> we're tired, <laughs> but we can do this. So he's going to sleep over there have a heartbeat sound going on and I'm gonna sleep on that side that has been a lifesaver with feedings and I put all the clean clothes in here for now since he's not staying there 
and in here I kind of set it up like the hospital because I really had a good like way to reach for everything. This is what I've been giving him and with my pigeon bottle. So, oh, so this fits actually perfect so instead of pouring it in like a normal bottle because this has the I can tell exactly how much he ate. Focus, focus, focus. I guess it's not going to focus. Oh my gosh. Oh, there it goes. Oh, no, mind. Anyway. Oh, and burp cloths. And then. Well, I can't reach down there. So, since I had a C section. I was told I can't drive for like four to six weeks until I'm told I can. Can't lift anybody heavier than him. And um, what else? A bunch of different rules. Still taking meds to recover from my C-section. But I feel pretty good overall. Just tired. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. I think this might be the last vlog that's gonna go in this whole like or the last day for this week's vlog um because it kind of ends with us coming home and I'll start filming again tomorrow life at home and then I'll that'll be like its own week or whatever but yeah this was my week of going into labor and delivery <laughs> okay bye guys you want to say bye I don't even know how to He's just so, he fell asleep like this, and he's so comfortable. He has little arms like all the way over here, grabbing my shoulder. Okay. Whoa. Goodbye.